Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Still got the boot. I got the boot. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see? Hi. Hi, Lauren. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. Hi, Marina. Hi, Rebecca. Lucky Lauren. You guys. Steve -o. Oh, my God. You have been so awesome. Hello. Still have the suit. <laughs> Michael's going to wear it a little bit later yeah. in the show. Only, only the bottoms. Hey, <laughs> what? Where am I getting mad? What? So, so how are you getting this back to Tamara? Uh, Tamara, who is so awesome, right? This chicky who lives in Toronto, and she, I guess, goes as the Pink Ranger to a lot of different um, Comic Con conventions and stuff. Right. Loan me her suit for our crazy stunt. That was on, so uh, and Michael showed up. Thank God. Michael showed up. I just up. showed up for the last song. I don't didn't know that it was. I thought you guys were like on your way, and then I got there and you had already been. Singing. I already sang. You guys, I rocked it, man. I just stood there on the corner. Pretty and brave. It was freezing cold, and there was a ton of people there, and it was right out in the open. It was awesome. And I sang my little heart out. It was yeah. so fun. I <laughs> so much fun. I really did. I really. I had a blast, Michael. And, yeah. and it helped that you were there for I'm moral support. You, of course. Oh my God. Wait, hey, I'm just going to look really quick. There's a bit of a delay with the feed. But is anybody here that was on the corner with us on Young and Dundas at 4 p.m. on Friday? Hi, Rick. Hi. There, there's a delay, so I'll just say hi as it waits. Um, no, I'm not <laughs> a floating head anymore. I'm actually here. Look, I can push her. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sticking them in my cleavage. No. Um, oh, I just saw Bob. Bob from UT uh, Sound Department. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was he Was he there? Yeah, he was there. I met him. I met Bob at um, a charity event about three months ago. Oh yeah. Yeah. So cool. You guys, you know what? I just want to start the show off by saying thank you so much. We are going to make a movie. Like how. Freaking exciting is yeah, that? Yeah, like, I know. It's so good. And this is working out so well. And you guys, we can't say thank you enough. It's it's just so heartwarming that you guys are this into it. It's just amazing. It's so awesome. Did you guys notice I introduced a whole new aspect to the film today? The burlesque aspect? Because a lot of you guys don't know the actual full story. But um, when Mitch, Michael Krim, mm. um, discovers that his... his um, child is not his own he he takes off on this adventure to go find the actual biological father and in the um little university town where danny baker is at school there's a burlesque festival happening and so half of the film takes place in this really colorful like cabaret feeling burlesque um festival atmosphere so we just um, found this woman, this amazing chick. Her name's Coco Frambois. Um, I put her picture up on, on Facebook today to advise us and bring us into the world of burlesque okay. and also to, um, to be the choreographer for, for the film. Like, this lady has such a spirit and such a soul. She's like, she's incredible. Mm -hmm. She's incredible. So we're so lucky to have her. Like, we're really psyched about that. So anyway, so that's why you're seeing sort of the burlesque aspect of the film starting to sort of interplay into the Indiegogo campaign. Right? Mm -hmm. And later on... Uh, Hi, Kara. Just before the hour is done, we're going to release the short film that Amy made um, with uh, <laughs> Sonia Saloma and myself um, in it. And um, you get to see that on YouTube. So Yeah, and that's it. called Shooting Blanks. It's just sort of the precursor, right, to what happens in yeah, the film. It's yeah, it's about a seven-minute film that sort of sets up um, the the situation and, and, and the scenario of of the entire movie of The Space Between. Yeah. And so we're putting that on YouTube. And just to preface, um, I have pressed the button on the YouTube where it's for adult content because it is. Um, there's no nudity or anything, but he's in a fertility clinic like giving a sample so but it's hilarious um hey captain stable that's john that's john arnold oh okay hi john hi. um 
Yes. Yeah, so, so if your computers or whatever are set to keep uh, adult, you know, for your kids so that they can't watch adult content, you might have to go in and switch a button so you can actually watch the movie on YouTube. I just, I didn't want to get in trouble. I mean, oh. literally, there's no nudity or anything. No, but it's just adult situations. It's adult content. Yeah. So. So that's that. So Max, Mr. Max Williams, hello. He calls me Mrs. Johnson. He's so cute. He's 11 years old. You're not allowed to watch it. Uh, I, I had a question. So I'm sort of, if I look like I'm staring off into space, I'm kind of, I'm trying to track the uh, the comments. We feel like, I feel like, we, we didn't answer enough questions last time. So periodically, um, I'm going to look, not right now, but I'm going to look at, uh, at, the, at the thing and we're going to sort of jump in with some answers to your questions. But I saw that Michael Walter was at the White House when Amy Jo was the Pink Power Ranger in Dundas Square. What does that mean? How are you in? How are you in? Oh, in, Michael Walter, are you the one who wanted the the, the different um, um, uh, drafts of the script? I think that's Michael. Everybody, let Michael say hello. Michael, we're waiting for you. Oh, there's a Michael's delay. gone to the bathroom. There's a delay, but I I pretty much I think that's him. But why were you at the White House? That's so cool. No, yeah, anyway. Um, We'll try to read your there answer, he is. Michael. There okay, he is. what do you say? What do you yes! say? What were you doing at the White Yay! House? Were you taking a tour? Or were you or did you work there? <clears throat> John Hi, Bueno uh... lives in Washington. I work for the PBS station and we were doing the show there. Ah, I uh... gotcha. So you live in Washington, Michael? Like it's PBS Washington? So Michael Walter asked to have one of the perks be all the different drafts. Ah, cool. Of, All right. So Thanks, Michael. Thanks for answering. So we have about um, four different drafts at this point of the space between. And so I'm not sure what day we're going to launch that, but we're going to put it on Indiegogo. Um, Indiegogo, we're going to put a perk of... All the different drafts, so you can watch, read the evolution of the script and where it's gone, which is kind of cool. But that one's for you, Michael. So. Wait, this doesn't sound. Shall we sing? Shall we sing a song? So we're gonna sing a song. Let's do it, because that's why we're here, right?
correct myself and call my mom Cammy. <laughs> uh, I had nightmares last yeah. night. Anyway, uh, last time Amy, Joe, and I got together to, to play, because it had been a while since we played these songs together, Amy, Joe was like, let's try looking into each other's eyes while we play, because that's what people do when they're in concert. And we on Nashville, right guys? Yeah. On Nashville, so they like like, oh, I can't even do it. Yeah, we you know what? The it. next song we sing together, we're actually only gonna do one more together, but um, we're gonna look. No. Face to face, dude. Let's pretend we're in Nashville. Can we? Can we? Can we? Okay, sure. It's my favorite show. Okay. I love it. Um. Oh. Oh. What are we gonna do right now? We might pick a name. Oh. Out of a hat. All right. Shall we? So, the first name we're gonna pick tonight. So I, I'll, I'll explain, because I don't know if everybody here, I'm assuming, but probably not. We did sort of like this raffle kind of thing on Indiegogo last night for the space between. I'm just going to preface really quick, because I don't know if anybody got a ticket to this stage at show that has no idea what we're talking about. So the space between is a feature film that I'm going to write and direct, well, I've written, and I'm going to direct it, and Michael Cram is starring in it. I also have a part in it. Um, we're shooting in June, and right now we're raising money on Indiegogo to to do this film. Um, and we're like kicking butt with you guys because we're up to ninety five thousand dollars right now. Mm -hmm. um, we exceeded our first goal. <clears throat> our stretch goal is now one hundred twenty five thousand. We don't know if we'll get there, but if we do, it'll be awesome because all the rest of the money for the budget, the budget is two hundred and fifty thousand. All the rest of the money will have to apply for grants and find other different av avenues to, to get the money. Anyway, point being, yesterday we did a raffle where anybody who bought a $10 perk yesterday on Indiegogo.com for the space between, um, their name was put into a, a box. I say a hat, but it's a box. So there was 44 people and one person put their name in twice. And whoever you are, your name is in there twice. I promise. So um, let me shake it up. Let me shake it up. So we're going to do this twice. But so the first time, this is for the um, Power Ranger Die Hard perk. It's a $300 perk on the Indiegogo campaign. My dear friend, Jen Bowen, um, bought the perk, and she gave it to me to give away. So that's why we're doing this. Pretty cool, Jen. Oh. Okay, Shaking this is a up. shout out to John Bueno and the Power Pack Squad. Woo! There you go. <laughs> okay. Ready, guys? Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm going to have Michael Peck. Okay. I'm pretty sure all 44 people are here. Just pick one, Michael, and don't drop him. He can be a little clumsy, this guy. I was on Flashpoint <laughs> with him. He used to fall down all the time. All right, here we go. We got it. And a lot of you guys didn't put your names, you put your email address. So okay, so yeah. Oh, it's a name. Oh, and it's a familiar name. Ah, I'm so excited! Okay, um, Huang Li, or uh, Huang, oh, he's so great. Or is it Li Huang? This guy is like working his butt off in the referral contest as well. We have a referral contest. I'm going to put the name up so you can see your name. You won! You won! Are you there? Are you there? I recognize that name from my Twitter feed. Yeah, right? Right, John? This is so cool. This guy is awesome, and he has been promoting the Space Between Indiegogo campaign. Yeah, that's why like I'm so Like, nobody's with his business. Name. Yeah. So I'm really excited that you just won. 
And I don't even know if he's here, but I'm going to put his name up again. But it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to be here, right? No. no okay, no, good. No, no, no. Woo! And right you, all these people know him, too, so this is really cool. So cool. we're going to... Jessica. I'm gonna, Jessica's here with us, too, guys. I'm going to give Our the name to Jessica. Our superstar producer. And, and she's going to put that in the whole thing. And we'll mm. actually we'll email you tomorrow just to reconfirm that you've won. And... and um, that's awesome. I'm so glad it was a familiar name. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Just We're going to do the second part, the Skype session, later. Okay? All right. Let's take a question or two. What do you got What do you got for us? What do you got for us? <laughs> Somebody ask a question. The hard thing about questions is there's such a delay. There's like a minute Yeah, it, they're flying by, too, though. Is it a minute delay? Mm, is it at really least that 30 long? seconds. Okay, let's do a... Let's do a <laughs> okay. You know what? Write some questions. Jessica will find a good Okay, John a, a Bueno, this is for you. John Bueno. I don't even know if Bueno's probably not your last name. John. John B. John underscore Bueno. Okay, this is a question for you, and we're doing this as a time to time the delay of the of the thing. So when I say now, I want you to uh, write Hi Amy Joe and Mike, okay? So now. Yeah, we did this earlier, Michael. It's like thirty we did? seconds. Is well, really me and Jessica seconds? have done it. I've done it before. Okay. I'm gonna answer Prima's question. I'm looking for it. Favorite song you've ever? Yeah, we're looking for. Oh, there he is. Nope. He's that there. that yay was probably this is for you. It's. Oh, it, it, oh okay, see, it's it is really a... long. So we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna. But Prima, um, my favorite song. We're gonna we're both gonna answer. My favorite song that I ever wrote is actually Cracker Jacks, the song we just sang. I just have so much fun when I sing it. Thanks, John. Okay, so and it what, is about what 20, is, 20 yeah. seconds. Or more. What, what is uh, your favorite song? Uh, in the world? No, or, that you've ever, that you've you ever written. Said. That I ever wrote? <sighs> Sympathy for the Devil, but Mick Jagger totally ripped me off. <laughs> uh, what a nut. My favorite song that I ever wrote? Um, I know my favorite song of Michael's, and I'm going to ask him to sing it right now. And this song is actually featured in The Space Between. Oh, right on. Yep, he's going to actually sing it in the movie, and I love it. So I'm going to, like, move over here. And it's called Hum. All right, here we go. Down until I get up and whole world made of nothing. Your fundamental problem comes from playing with your source. You think you find the answer, you cure your cancer.
even looking into their eyes and I couldn't do it. <laughs> I love it. That song just like it chokes me up. I love it. I love, Thanks. love, love, love that song you guys. And I'm so excited it's going to be on the soundtrack. And I don't know if you guys noticed, have you gone to the page yet, the Space Between Indiegogo page? Um, <clears throat> if we reach the new goal, the 125,000, 125, every single person from the beginning of the campaign, um, everybody will get a, um, a free download of the soundtrack. And this song is going to be on the soundtrack. Woo -hoo. I'm nice. really excited because I love it. And I don't know how many of you guys are on Twitter. Um, hopefully all of you. But please, please go follow Michael. And, oh, yeah, and tell please your friends do. to follow Michael. Follow He's me. He's a shark attack. At shark attack. D well, yeah, it's spelled funny though. Maybe just uh, look up my name, Michael Cram, and that it'll be at Shark Attack, spelt funny. Yeah. I had or to go leave to my Twitter right now because I just doing. tweeted him on my Twitter page right. Or, yeah, on my Twitter page right now. I just tweeted you. Hmm. So his oh, good, his thanks. thing is right there. All right. Right. How beautiful What's was next? that song? What do you want to do? Um. Thanks, Kara. I'm just kidding. Kara so, says she follows both of us already. Awesome. Love it. You guys, I feel like singing. I'm going to sing a song. All right. I wish, I wish, what are the other songs we sang together that one time? You just hop on. Just hop. You play, play along if you feel like it. Okay. I'm going to do, um. Find no, I, I can't remember the ones that we did. Did we do Dancing in Between? Um. Michael, I wrote that right after I was fired from Love Janice off Broadway. 
Really? <laughs> that sounds like a story. Have you ever been fired? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. I'm sure we all have. You know what? A friend of mine said when I got fired, I was so upset, and he said, "Okay, you know what? Now you've made it. Now, <laughs> now you're a real, now you're a real actor." Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I got fired. I got fired once. I was hired to do this. Uh, I'm gonna tell the story. I got fired to do this CBC radio drama thing, and it was a documentary for hockey. Uh, it was a like a, a kind of a. A documentary would dramatize things, but it was a radio thing. And they needed someone to do the announcer parts. You know, the old-timey sort of, and da 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 shoots it down the boards. Yeah, yeah. And, and I had, they gave me this stack of things. And I went in, I was doing all sorts of voices, but this was one of them, the, the main ones that I was hired to do. And I had a stack of like 20 pages. And I went into the sound booth, and I started doing it, and they kept on directing me. And there's five people outside the sound booth. And they were so friendly and so nice when I came in and really helpful when I was in the booth. And I read one and a half of these pages after like two or three times each segment. And they gave me some direction. And then they went, all right, Michael, thank you. That was great. And I was like, but we haven't even really started the main stuff. That I, no, that was great. Thank you. And this wasn't an audition. No, it was a job. <laughs> I, I had been waiting for 45 minutes to get in before the guy before me was done. And I went in and I, I did it and I... I they told me, that's great. That was great. Thank you. That's all we need. I was like, but there's 20 other pages there. They're like, they're like yeah. Yeah. And I came out and I went up to when them. When was that? Oh, it was years ago. It was like yeah. five or six years. Oh, Maybe even 10 years ago. Oh, it was a long time. Time goes by fast. Mm -hmm. But I went out to say goodbye to them all and none of them would be looking at me. <laughs> they were just like, that was great, Michael. Yeah, that was really, that was good. really good. Anyway, yeah. And I went out, I called my agent and I said, I think I just got fired. Oh. Yeah. It's a bummer. It's a bummer yeah, when it happens, but yeah, it makes us stronger, guys. You know what? Yeah. When crappy things happen, it's like a really, honestly, and I'm not even being yeah, silly, yeah. I, I try to find it a really good opportunity to learn how to love. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I'm serious. To take that opportunity <laughs> to like, like try to, no, I'm really serious. When something crappy happens, take the opportunity to learn how to like shift the energy and the people involved just like you know say thank you for yeah. giving you the opportunity to like have that lesson in your life yeah yeah i i i, I think failure is an important thing right right uh i think you're way braver than i am though you why you wouldn't wear a pink ranger costume and go out into the middle <laughs> you guys should have seen this yesterday man it was <laughs> on friday it was so oh sorry friday it was so awesome it was so awesome you had to be there but and the people that were there were so appreciative, and it was just, it was really cool. Very they were, brave, very they brave. They were very appreciative. Very appreciative. Um, I think. Hmm. Okay. How about Michael sing another song, and then let's pick a Skype session. The winner of the, the raffle for the Skype session. What do you guys think? That sounds great to me. I'm going to sing a song. Where is it? I'm going to sing a song called Clean It Up. I just heard it, it's so pretty. I haven't played it in a while, so I may screw up, so you guys will forgive me though. That's right. We're all friends here. Yeah. We're just sitting around the living room hanging out, right? Yeah, exactly. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> Turn off the television and the sun's too bright. Up, clean it up, you've been up all night. 
Make a decision, turn off the television and the sun's too bright. So people were asking, I was kind mm -hmm. of writing down questions. Do you have any of your music on iTunes? I don't have any on iTunes, but um, I can absolutely, I, I, have, I have a MySpace page. If you just look up my name, usually on Google, somewhere down in that line on the first or second page after Google gives its results, there's a MySpace page. My, I think it's myspace.com slash Michael Cram Music. He's so old school. I no, know. You know what? You know what? It's a great place just to put up your songs. It's the only reason I have a MySpace page. But, uh, um, it is yeah, a great place to put up songs. Yeah, it is yeah. a great place. It's a great uh, somebody else page. asked you, are you on Instagram? I'm not on Instagram. Well, I am, but I never Apparently, use it. Apparently, JDF told me Instagram is where it's at. Yeah? So, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I will be after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hey, look, Twitter, print, Twitter practically ruined my life. I mean, having the, I feel like Twitter's this great responsibility. Like, you've got to check in, you've got to be active on it, or what's the point oh, of Oh, no, but it? the thing about Instagram that actually JDF told me was that, so when you post something on Instagram, yeah. you can send it to your twi Twitter. So you only have to do one post. So you do post on Instagram. Oh, and yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, I did hear I don't that. know. Some people don't like that, but some people don't, you know, different people follow different Aaron things. Wood just t talked about a podcast called Nerdversity. What is Nerdversity? You get back to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you. Yeah. Oh, what was the name of that song? Oh, that's called Clean It Up. Clean it up. And you know what? I asked him tonight. I was like, do you have another song you can play? And he played that. I'm like, can that go on the soundtrack too? Because how awesome is that song, right? So I'm hoping. I'm hoping I'm going to get him to record that acoustically. Oh, I can't can wait. Use Are you that kidding? on the soundtrack as well. That sounds fantastic. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's pick a name out of the hat. Okay. Here we go again. We're let's gonna... get Jessica to pick this one. Okay. We're going to pick the... Uh, do you guys want to say hi to Jessica? Anyway, she doesn't like to be on camera. She hates it. You don't want. It's like my wife. My wife doesn't like being on camera. She either. hates it. No, you know what? Let's no. not. Let's not make her feel funny. I. She's but we have to pick it here, Michael. You're gonna have to pick okay. it. Okay. Um. Okay. So this again is for the Skype session that my friend Deb Neal bought. Very nice lady bought it, and um, and she has given it up, been giving it away, and so. Somebody in here. And there's only 43 names in there now. There's or only 43 names. Is Huang Leo eligible? No, no, no. There's actually 44 names because somebody did it twice. Okay. No, he's not eligible. Everybody's well, saying I, I hi like to you, one Jessica. Because you, yeah. <laughs> One or two? Drum roll. Oh, wait, I have drums. Hang on, put it back in. Oh, no, no, no don't no, put it back in. You got it. You got, 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 got it. This is somebody's. Okay. I got two there. I got to drop one. Okay. okay. Drum roll. Okay, this is a. Okay, this is an email. Because whoever it was didn't give their Let's name. See if I know it. Uh, I don't recognize it. Okay, so here, if you're listening, it's and, and this is you, 
aprils.sweet4 at gmail.com. Who's that? aprils.sweet4 at gmail.com. Here it is. Aprils, are you here? Mm, where is it? There it is. Are you here, April? Mm. Whoops, I'm sorry, I'm not being very good at this. There we go. Anyway, that's the name, that's the winner right there. We have bongos. That's the name, that's the name, her name is April. All right. Anyway. All right. Congrats, April. Congrats. April's not here. Okay, I'm handing that to Jessica. Keep in safe place. Right? Oh, so you guys know April. Do you guys know April? You guys know Lucky April? Lucky April of Aprils. That's who it's for. Will you sing Relief with me? I, I don't think I know. I know, but on Nashville, they just jump in with each other. <laughs> well, they're better they musicians do. Though. They're clearly better They just, like, they don't even I... know the song, and suddenly they're just to... singing it. I have to take a quick bathroom break. Okay. <laughs> Michael's going to the bathroom, and I'm going to sing Relief. It's good because it's real. Michael's going to... Real. Michael's going to Relief himself. <laughs> and, and I'm going to sing Relief, and I don't have the... Oh, I know, right? Uh, my inspiration for relief. First of all, I just want to say when um, um, earlier I saw Melissa Hawkins thing go by when I was talking about failure and all that stuff, and you said something about your mom, and her mom was killed in the car accident, I think, or walking across the street. I remember that was like two years ago. Anyway, you said that um, that's how you, that's, you saw a lot of blessings after your mom was killed. And so, um, you know what? We've all had our tragedies in our life and so I wrote relief really basically out of out of the tragedies I've had in my life and um, yeah so this one's for you Melissa I'm gonna dedicate this song to you um, oh my god I do remember Melissa when she made a joke about relief Laura Lynn made a joke about but it wasn't it wasn't potty talk it was more like shooting blanks what am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. So. A little sip of water. We're all just trying trying hard to find belief so her bones can keep on standing through all this grief we're all just pretending and it's hard to see underneath this exterior you're just like me Just pretending we're all 
just pretending. We're all just pretending. So I jumped in right at the end. Yeah! Michael jumped in! So I do, I jump in for seven seconds. I want to sing another song with you. Let's just do Bright Lights now. Let's do it. Okay. so much. Rick has done all the graphics for, oh, yeah. for the, um, the campaign. Yeah, right. All the graphics are Thanks, done by Rick. Rick. And then uh, Andre has been helping getting all the, um, the, um, the, the video messages and the voice messages out to you guys. Like, yeah. I'm not singing this to you because it's kind of mean and sad if I was. It's just for you. It's not to you, it's for you. <laughs>
people that weren't supposed to kiss when they cut the commercial. Right, right. Oh, damn it. We should have done that the whole song. <laughs> you know what? The next song you sang, I want you to sing it right for me. I'm just going to look at you. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to sing this. I don't think I have anything else I can sing. You got one in your old little carpet bag. Come on. You can pull one out. Right? Oh, my God. That show Nashville, right? So good. Um, okay. I know I keep promoting the show Nashville. I'm obsessed with it. And you know what's so fun? Is there was a show on Thursday. I haven't watched it yet. Guess what I'm doing tonight? It's like a piece of candy waiting for me. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. Where are we at? We have 13 minutes, guys. Julia Roberts, Julia Roberts, Julia Roberts. I know. Yeah, Huh? I don't remember. Oh, I mean, no. I mean, That's I have what it. At. What else? All right. The only way I'm doing Julie Roberts is Michael has to jump in with me. <laughs> jump in. You have I'll just to. I get another song gonna... at the same time. All <laughs> right. Do. We'll just make it a piece of crap. I don't even have it in front of me because I was not planning on singing it. Um. And we're here for shooting blanks, by the way. You guys, yeah. it's launching. So as soon as the show's done, Jessica is gonna press the little button, or we have another computer over here. And we're going to press it on YouTube, and we're going to press the little button, and it would be really awesome, I think, if, um, where can we do sort of, like, I would love to have the feedback. I guess on the YouTube, there's the place where you can write in the comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go there, and, and we'll check it out, and, um, No, I never had a hard time with the Flashpoint gear. <laughs> Why are people asking me that? He That's did. Not the first he was time. very clumsy. Oh, well, I was clumsy, but it wasn't like a he problem with the, fa the the actual gear. Oh no, no! But he would fall down all the time. He'd be like running. I oh don't my know god! Why? The worst I don't know story. Why, the, I'm the not that story. uncoordinated. I'm pretty coordinated. And this wasn't your fault. But do you remember the time, poor Michael? Suddenly, all of a sudden, had like projectile vomiting happening oh my God. in the middle of the scene no it wasn't sudden the royal york it wasn't sudden no wasn't it at the oh yes that was a different time sorry he so goes i vomited running. a couple of times the first day d he's like um you know what it was it was the broccoli salad it was the broccoli salad it was just sitting in the sun and i was like i'm so hungry i'll eat it anyway and then i ate it and we're in the middle of a scene. I'm like, guys, I, I got to go. And I've started running. And one of our assistant directors who's got like, first of all, I've got a microphone on. And our assistant directors has a headset. And they're concerned with us being on set, right? So I go bolting to the washroom. We have, we have shots. I stick my head in the first. toilet. I start throwing up. And the he's what, he's like, assistant director is like this on the walkie-talkie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's throwing up. He's throwing up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so much. We're going to be here for a little bit. Okay, right, set up the next take shot. Five. Everybody take five. Can we write Michael out of the scene? <laughs> <laughs> He's literally standing above me doing this. Ah, Michael Johnson. He's a classic, that guy. I know, he is. All right, so the chords are... Oh, you know what, oh, yeah. Max? I can't even remember. I, I, I'm not going to be able to just pull this one out of my hat. Okay, just, just, just let's give it a bash. I forget the chords. Then I want 
with that babe. It's alright. It's okay, guys. Cause I'm gonna direct! <laughs> I'm gonna direct a movie! I'm so excited. Yeah! Oh my god! Oof, we're getting to the end here. I know, we have seven minutes left. I don't know. You guys are so interesting that the time just flies by. Um, let's see. I want to so, take a question. We can't because there's a time delay. I know, but a question's going to come up now that I said that, okay. and I'm going to answer it. I'm just going to interrupt you and answer it. <laughs> okay, so, all right. Uh, F, uh, again, shooting blanks, adult content in it. It's And this is a prequel, a seven-minute prequel to The Space Between. It sets up the situation. Um, it's funny, and at the same time, I think it's a bit heartfelt, and it gets a little sad at the end. But anyway, it's... And Michael and Sonia Saloma star in it, and they're awesome. They're awesome in it. And they will be the stars of The Space Between that we're going to shoot. I've seen a lot of questions on Facebook, kind of not understanding. Like, the movie's not done yet, The Space Between. We're shooting in June. And so I'll give you the time frame. I'll give you a breakdown of the time frame right now so everybody mm -hmm. knows. For the Indiegogo. Indiegogo ends November 23rd. Okay. At November 23rd, we're going to send out an email to most everybody um, for the particular perk that you got and get information, like for the headshot, um, what do you want on it, or setting up times for Skype sessions, all this stuff. That's going to happen probably the end of November. In December, anything that was like pre-done, like the Power Ranger photo book, the acting photo book, all that stuff will be sent out and hopefully it gets there. You know, the mail in December is crazy. Mm. Hopefully it gets there. Um, the space between physical package will not get there until the following year because we're going to shoot the movie in June. Okay, mm. in June we're shooting the space between. We're spending the summer editing, um, color correcting, music, all that we our goal is to have the film done end of November um, 2015 at that point we will have the soundtrack and we're gonna send everybody if we reach the goal the soundtrack or whoever bought the space between um, downloadable package um, uh, we you will get your soundtrack at that point and then the movie will be released probably 2000 winter 2016 depending on if we do a festival route. If we do a festival route, we might have to hold back on actually giving the movie out at that point until the festival So how would that work? Over. So if we shot it in June of 2015, it wouldn't make it until like, it wouldn't be ready to submit to TIFF until the following year, right? Winter, yeah, well. So it would be like, it would be TIFF 2016, it would If got submitted. into TIFF, yeah. but we, we'll just, we'll start submitting. Or we might get a, a, distribu a distribution We'd have to wait deal. a whole year and a half is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, no, because the movie will be done in November and then we'll start submitting in the winter. Or if we don't go the festival route and we just get a distribution deal, then then the movie will be um, hopefully in theaters and VOD, downloadable onto iTunes. And, mm. You know, we haven't really figured out the afterlife of the film yet. We're still creating the film. Um, so that's that. I got a couple of questions okay. I got in my head here. Yeah. So first, uh, yes, I was on Rain. That was me. It was supposed to be a few episodes, but I got I committed the crime, got caught for the crime, confessed to the crime, and they got charged with the crime. There's nothing left to do left to do but behead me, so that was over. Um, and Amy Jo, do you miss Flashpoint? You know what? I miss the whole family. I do. I do. Yeah. It was it was an awesome gig. It was five years of just like yeah, it was it was pretty fun. It really was stressful times. at times. It was a it was a hard. Like as far as acting goes, it was a hard job. It was a Within hard the shoot. context of what we do, it's pretty and, easy. But... And mostly because, guys, we live in Toronto and the weather. Yeah, and, and we're shooting and in the middle of winter. They really wanted us to look as cool as possible, so we we're wearing these skinny little outfits, and it was you know parka uh, weather. But you know what, guys? For Amy Jo, who was the only woman on the show, loved wearing. I didn't have to go through wardrobe fittings. I all I had to do, like, I don't have to worry what do you about mean? this. I just put on my little SRU uniform, yeah. and I was good to go, man. You were warm? I didn't have to worry about my weight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the rest of us were obsessed. You guys were. 
Because they feel, Sad. and I was just like, put, my, put on my long johns, and I don't know, yeah. that thing just like sat well. But yeah, of like, course we it. miss it. It's nice to be doing different things after that long, I have to the say cool that. Pants. But the cool very, pants. The cool pants, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people are asking, and I'm assuming these are people that are, are maybe young people, how adult is it and can I watch it? Oh, yes, Hannah just asked that. She's 17. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. There is no nudity, but it does take place shooting blanks in um, uh, in a fertility clinic. So basically, it's like, you know, Hannah, you're 17 years old. If your parents allow you to watch um, adult content and, and films, then you're fine. You can mm. you can watch it. I, Max, who's 11, you know, it's probably not appropriate. Yeah. Wait a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like any sort of rated R movie, right? It's not a family movie. The space between is going to be really fun, and 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 but um, and you know we were at a burlesque festival half the yeah, time, and yeah. there's going to be some fun things happening. So is that what right, else? Jess? Did, did I say that More right? people I mean, are saying well, John. John R? Bueno is saying hi, Jessica. She says hi back, hi. John. I'm just gonna get the the from from the producer. Is the is shooting is um? I think it's gonna be rated R in the states. Oh, yeah. Put Michael in the cup. What? Someone says so. It, Michael in a cup. Yeah. What? Basically. It is Michael in a cup. Mm -hmm. It is exactly. You, yeah. yeah. Um, in the states, it'll probably be rated R, and then up in Canada, it's like N17. If I was N17. in your living room, I would leave while it was on. Let's put it that way. I wouldn't be super comfortable sitting beside people watching it. <laughs> Max, how come Jessica is Miss Adams? And, oh, because I'm married. But my husband's last name is, is it Johnson. Anyway, Max calls me Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> you're Ms. Ooh, Adams. Michael Mrs. Walter, Johnson. one Michael, one cup. No, no. Okay, Michael Walter. <laughs> Can we back off a little bit? No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so what are we doing? You guys, we have one minute left here. And we could... You know what? What do you guys want to do? Do you want to sing another song? Do you have another song? I, I can't think of anything right now that, that would be sort of... It's. I have a song that I can sing that you could actually... It's easier to play than Julia okay. Roberts. We're going to go just, out on were, a song? No, we have like 10... There's a the little encore. We're just okay. going to hang out with these guys until right. they all leave us. So, I don't know what these chords are because I have a capo on, but I'm going to do Panic. I'll just hear you. Hey, by the way, so when it does go, let's just wait till it goes and then I press the button because you have to press the button to keep it going. You're allowed to stay. You don't have to stay, but we will uh, go over a little bit if you all want to. Yeah, panic. Are we? Yeah, right? Mm. Michael, I can even like put the lyrics here and you can just like make up your own tune. Oh my God, so fun. Okay. Right, guys? Encore time. At least it's yeah, a I'm subject. Press the button. At least it's a subject Boom. I know a lot about. Panic. Yeah. He is so Mitch. Like I'm so excited for Michael to play. I basically just role. have to go be a slightly less mature me. And I'm only saying slightly, that to make slightly. myself feel better. <laughs> slightly less. Okay.
Computer and, and launch shooting blanks? Yeah, I think it's time. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't. Okay, let me get my computer. Pop my poodle right here. How do they find it? YouTube. Go to YouTube. Actually, go to the indiegogo.com, uh, the Space Between page, and um, I'm going to put it on there right now. Yeah. Because I could put a little playlist, the Space Between playlist. Okay. It's in the playlist. Let me see. I know I said we were going to answer a bunch of questions, but the, the feed is going by so quickly, I don't even have time to read them. It's just like flying by. It's like it's like a ticker tape. It's going... <sighs> Okay, you guys are going to do something weird because I forgot to put flash on my computer. I'm going to like come in here and do it on here, but you can still see us, but I just can't see you. Um, la, 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 la. Can you see me? <laughs> YouTube. And go to my channel. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Shooting blanks. Oh no. Here we go, Here guys. We go. Here we go. Shooting blanks. Edit. Video manager. And 
Mission Quest. Wait, oh. It's happening, I promise. These computers, they try to I'm in my video manager. Um edit. Private. Public. Public. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it on to the space between playlist. Publish. Oh. Now can they see it? Now they can. You guys should be able to find it now. Okay, we did it. All right. Thank you guys for such a good show. This was yeah. Fun thank you, time. John and yeah. Sam and Steve and Max and. Melissa and Kara and Aiden Platt and John Christina, Harrison, Kevin Tubbs, Lucky Lauren, John, John Bueno, Bueno, Richard, Michael Walter, Lana, Fried, JC, Aaron, Marie Mancuso, True Marina Blue, Sikova, Talita. Oh, Talita just did an article today. She's from Brazil. She just put up something about the space between, which is pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to Brazil next week. I'm gonna go spend seven weeks in Brazil with my uh, my my wife's family. We live uh, just outside of Sao He's Paulo. He's married to wait. a Brazilian. This guy. Yeah, I love it there. Lady. I can't wait to be there. Uh, Lucky monkey, Michael, uh, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Samantha, Kara, Lucky Lauren, Talita, Kevin Tubbs, Janet, Glaze. Janet from Bella. <laughs> Emma and Gracie. Oh my god, hi guys! Sorry. <laughs> Barney, Vincent, Samantha, hi, Gracie, hi, Emma. Um, okay. I just saw the name Sam Maynard go by, Tommy Castle, Mike Ammo. Yeah, guys. Alright, guys, thank you so much. Uh, there's eleven minutes and they're they're gonna they're gonna want us to stay on. There's oh yeah, okay. Oh, okay. We're back. <laughs> you know what? Let's just sing some more. Right? Okay. A little sing. Do you know anything? Do you know do you know anything covers? Yeah, you play one. You play <laughs> one, Michael. We had this discussion earlier. Both of us don't know any covers. Yeah. We're really boring at campfires. Yeah. Everybody always goes, take the guitar, Mike plays guitar, Amy Joe plays guitar, and then five minutes later, don't you know anything we can sing along with? <laughs> Do you know what? Sometimes I like to pretend I know covers and I sing songs my own way. Hmm. Give me a song, Michael. Okay. I'm going to take covers right now. Okay, why not the, my, the first song I ever wrote? Uh, made famous by the Rolling Stones. Sympathy for the oh, Devil. Oh, no, but give me an easy one that I know all the words. Oh. Um. oh, Clear Blue Day. Thanks, How would thanks I know Selena. what song you know all there. the words to?
Seven minutes of O's, yeah, that's what we were about to do. <laughs> Seven minutes of O's. Why not, guys? No, no, I really want to sing a cover. Oh my god, what should I sing? Come on, let's do a cover. Do you know any songs? I don't know any. <laughs> like, I know songs, but when I like you go to sing, I'm like, I don't know any. Love Oh, no, 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 no. Where have you been? Gonna go with the bright lights and the big city me. That's all I know, cause I can't sing this song. <laughs> One of them is her, uh, 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 desire. Desire. I pretty much know every song yeah, or someone like, else. I go, I go all day or every something. YouTube one. No, I won't. <laughs> 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 on principle. <laughs> no. Come on, little Ico Ico. Come on, that's like a good campfire song. Uh, we can go to rounds with it. Uh, My grandma says your grandma. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. I'm putting my foot down. We have to keep some, like, a lid on the quality control here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Come it on. funny? You know, yeah, this is like this is like when you're about to introduce somebody at a party and you're like, you see people coming and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, what are their names? What are their names? What are their names? And you can't remember it because you have to remember it. I'm sure I know 20 songs, but I can't remember right, them yeah, now. Like, no. Oh, I know one. You with your sad eyes. Don't be... See, I'm terrible at karaoke too. That was, um... Oh, boy. He doesn't like it's me. It's going to be a long five minutes. <laughs> Oh my god. Lexi's song. I don't I don't know Lexi's song, Jacqueline. Come on. That's Macy. What's her name? Macy. She's really good. My friend Lexi. Um, okay. Wouldn't you want to be my lady? Travel down this lonely highway. It's been a hard to say. 
squadron and they are amazing supporters and they are hugely behind the space ah. between and helping us do ah. this thing you ah. guys thank you thank you so much well there's really no way to say thank you properly you guys are just amazing and thank you we're gonna make a movie that's how we're gonna say thank you yeah. right and we got two two weeks left of uh, the Indiegogo campaign, the space between two weeks left to have fun and and um, I don't know. There's some cool stuff coming up as well. And uh, you guys, thank you, thank you, Mary. Hi, Mary. When's Mary one of the next awesome. one of these? Oh, November twenty third, guys. We're uh, actually doing oh twenty five seconds. November twenty third is another stage at show. Get your ticket because that night is the last day of the campaign, and also the five hundred dollar perk for um, for Amy Joe's artwork. Where I'll write a song.